Today in this video I'm going to show you how to play the highest note on the flute but this comes with a word of warning. Being able to play the highest note on the flute is not a measure of your ability. The best measure of your ability is whether you can play high-ish notes like much 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 lower than this with proper technique. I'll tell you more about that at the end of this video. I've got a free mini course for you on how to play high notes, not this high, but with proper technique. That is the real measure of your ability and your success on the flute. Okay, so if you look in any, or I should say most fingering charts, or if you look up online, the highest note of the flute, normally they will show you that it's a C. So this is a C and the fingering is on the screen for you now. The way I explain this to my students, put your entire left hand on, including your little finger, but take your thumb off. And then on your right hand, the only thing down is your F finger. If you've got a B foot, and that's where you have not two of these keys, but three, you need to put down what's literally officially called the gizmo key. So B foot, B feet have a gizmo key. <laughs> that is the technical name. It's hilarious. But if you have a C foot like mine with just two of these keys here, you just need your F key. Now, officially that's the highest note on the flute, a high C. But professionals or let's say really, 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 really good amateurs or semi-professionals actually know and play higher than that. They play up to C sharp, which is this one. And you have your middle finger on here and no thumb then your F key again, and then your low C. So the low C and C sharp push together with a flat finger. This is high C sharp. You can also go up the next note and some composers write for this up to D. So thumb on and ring finger on your left hand. First finger, second finger, and low C again. That's high D. So the only composers that I know that regularly have written for up to C sharp and D is Prokofiev. If you have a look at his classical symphony, there's a nice little flip bit that goes up all the way to high D. It's very rare for compositions to be written up this high, purely because when they were written, normally the flutes weren't able to go up that high. They weren't quite as Ferrari as they are now. <laughs> I had a flute teacher explain that to me once. She called these flutes, modern flutes, Ferraris. Back in the old days, they couldn't do nearly as much as what they can do now. And for that reason, contemporary classical composers, you know, like in the last sort of 50 years or so, they're much more likely to write up that high for flute. Most of the flute repertoire was written before 50 or so years ago, so they generally don't go up that high. So that's why technically the highest note on the flute is just a C, <laughs> just a C. Now, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Jane and I love teaching people how to get faster progress on the flute through learning proper technique. And so the proper technique for high notes, if you're struggling with these, and honestly, even if you're not struggling with these, come and learn the proper technique for high notes, which is anything from this E up. That's what I consider a high note because you need to use the proper embouchure technique to get that note properly, which will then let you play higher with ease. So come and join me at www.flute.school slash high notes and I will show you the real way to play high notes easily. I'd love to see you there. See you later.